So what do we know about dark matter? I would say either a lot or a little, depending on your perspective. We, by now, have a pretty good idea how much dark matter there is in the universe. Dark matter outweighs the stuff with which we're familiar by about a factor of five. There's about five times more dark matter than normal matter in the universe. So we know how much there is. We have a reasonably good idea where it is. We can trace its gravitational influence. Uh, we can detect it around galaxies because of the way it affects the motions of stars and galaxies. We can detect the way it bends light in gal uh, as, as the light rays pass by a galaxy. That's the subject of the book, uh, how gravity bends light and how we can use that phenomenon to detect the dark matter, or at least to infer its existence. Uh, we can study the expansion of the universe, and that gives us an idea of the overall abundance of dark matter. But we don't yet know what it is. Uh, all the evidence points to being some kind of exotic particle. It's not the types of particles that we're familiar with in physics and chemistry. Uh, so it's not something that's made out of protons or neutrons and electrons, uh, or even the other kinds of exotic particles that are produced at particle accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider. It's something different. It, best guess, weighs somewhere between maybe 10 to 100 to 1,000 times the mass of a proton. So it's bigger than the particles that, that we're familiar with, although not, not out of line with the other kind, types of particles something that it pervades the universe, it exerts gravity, but doesn't do much else, as far as we can tell. Dark matter creates the scaffold on which the visible universe hangs. The dark matter, because it outweighs the normal matter, it determines kind of the overall gravitational field of the universe. Uh, in the traditional picture of how galaxies form, there would be a big halo of dark matter that contains some normal matter mixed in, and within that halo of dark matter, the galaxy will then form. So the, there are indeed attempts to capture dark matter here on Earth. According to the standard picture, the dark matter particles are flying all around us, in fact, flying through us as we speak. If the picture is right, then there's one dark matter particle in a volume about so big. Only it's not there anymore, because it's, they're actually flying through the room at hundreds of thousands of miles per hour. So there are experiments around the world where people take uh, collections of, of matter that they think would be particularly good for catching the dark matter, put it underground to shield it, basically, and then you basically wait and, and see if the dark matter particle hits it. There are a number of these experiments that are ongoing because it's possible that the dark matter experiments are, in fact, catching dark matter particles as we speak. And if so, they can tell us the mass of the dark matter particle, which would be something that would be very hard to pin down from an astrophysics standpoint. We're trying, but, but it's challenging.